presented by Kia Company Limited. Kia of Tokyo has been a cutlery specialist for over two centuries. Mr. Ono has sharpened knives at Kia for many years, and customers have often told him that it is difficult to sharpen kitchen knives at home. If you grasp the basic techniques, it is not difficult to sharpen kitchen knives with a whetstone. Try it yourself. Understanding the techniques and getting started. The easy way to sharpen kitchen knives at home. Double ground blade kitchen knives. Hold the kitchen knife in your right hand with the blade facing downwards. The right hand side of the knife is the front side and the left hand side is the reverse side. Even very good kitchen knives lose their sharp edge after long use. When cutting tomatoes, you can judge if your kitchen knife has lost its edge. Let's experiment. Try cutting a tomato with a kitchen knife that has not been used for some time and has lost its edge. If the tomato doesn't cut cleanly, you need to sharpen your kitchen knife. And now we will explain how to sharpen general use knives. The double ground blade is sometimes called a double edged blade. However, blades that have a sharp cutting edge on both sides of the blade, such as swords, are also known as double edged blades. So to avoid confusion, we call this type the double ground blade knife. First, we prepare the whetstone. There are rough, medium rough, and fine types. Normally, a medium rough whetstone is sufficient for restoring a sharp cutting edge on a kitchen knife. To use the whetstone, you must first allow it to absorb water. As you see here, the whetstone is immersed in water and left until no air bubbles are given off. For a new whetstone, a guideline would be about 5 to 10 minutes soaking. When sharpening a kitchen knife, it is very dangerous if the whetstone slips. Immobilize the whetstone by placing it on a wet cloth. Place the kitchen knife diagonally on the whetstone. Place two or three fingers gently on the top side, at the section you are sharpening. Steady the blade and slide the knife back and forth. The blade angle is determined by the state of the blade, so there is not a fixed blade angle. But, as a guideline, leave a space the width of one or two coins between the whetstone and the knife spine. And now, Let's watch the sharpening process. Place the knife blade on the whetstone. You don't need to use force or speed when sharpening. At this time, it is necessary to maintain the blade at a uniform angle. If you change the angle, the sharpened blade tip will become rounded and lose its sharpness, so caution is needed. So, how many strokes does it take? Or how long do you need to continue sharpening the blade? When you're sharpening, a metal ridge, called a burr, will be created on the blade body. Carefully touch the burr with your finger. If the burr feels slightly rough, the knife is becoming sharp. When you feel the burr on the blade, the front side is sharp. However, if there is only partial burr, it is not sharp enough. You need to continue until you get a burr over the entire length of the blade. You should sharpen the blade body at four points, as shown here. Sharpen until you feel the burr at all four points, and be sure to sharpen the blade uniformly. After the entire front side of the blade is sharp and there is a burr, turn the blade over and sharpen the other side. The work process is the same as before. Be sure you do not change the angle of the blade. 
then sharpen until you get a burr on the entire blade. If you try to sharpen the heel of the blade in the normal way, the handle will hit the whetstone. So change the way you hold the knife, as shown here. After sharpening the reverse side, there will still be burr on the blade edge and the knife will not cut properly. So turn the blade over again to the side you sharpen first. Then, gently stroke the entire front side of the blade over the whetstone one or two times. Incidentally, at knife stores that do sharpening work, to attain even better burr removal, they gently wipe the knife blade on the reverse side of the whetstone. Gently stroking the blade removes the burr on the blade edge and completes the sharpening process. Now we will cut a tomato. How well will the knife cut? Now, let's review the main points of sharpening. Be sure the whetstone is on a flat surface. Always maintain a constant angle and sharpen the knife until a burr is formed. Finally, remove the burr. We have kitchen knives. The most commonly encountered Japanese type kitchen knives are the fish cleaver and the sashimi, especially with the fish slicing knife. In this single ground blade kitchen knife version, we will use the fish slicing knife as our example. First, press the food cutting edge close to the whetstone. Sharpen while controlling the blade body lightly with two or three fingers. The fish slicing knife has a long blade, so sharpen it at five separate points. When a burr forms at the entire blade edge, your knife is uniformly sharpened. When you see a burr along the entire length of the cutting edge, sharpen the reverse side in the same manner. On the reverse side, you only need to remove the burr. Just a few strokes is enough. Turn the whetstone over and use its wooden base. Place the blade gently on the wood and slide the blade along the surface. This will remove the small burr remnants. For the fish slicing knife, if you then sharpen it gently on a fine whetstone, you'll get a smoother cutting edge and the knife blade will be even sharper. The fish cleaver cuts not only the soft tissue of the fish, but also the hard body parts. Press the blade's front side cutting edge on the whetstone. Slightly lift the spine of the knife and sharpen at an angle. Like the fish slicing knife, press the entire reverse side surface of the blade close against the whetstone to remove burr. Now let's review the main points. When sharpening a fish slicing knife, press the blade cutting edge close against the whetstone. On the reverse side, gently polish to remove the burr. Finally, remove any remaining burr. Now a look at knife care, removing corrosions and stains. Kitchen knives are essential in everyday food preparation. Having a clean knife will make you feel good, both in terms of hygiene and mood. However, even stainless steel knives are not entirely free from corrosion. Now let's look at knife care. This powder cleaner is effective. It works well, both for corrosion removal and prevention. Let's polish the knife. 